it's been a while. I haven't made a video. I've been really busy, but uh, hopefully this will be a good video. Uh, gaming laptop. It's a uh, tough game. I believe the model number is FX505G. And this came in with no power, so uh, let's take out the board and see what's going on. As you can see, the board is out. Let's take this off. Just a bit of cleaning here. Hygiene. Okay, first we're going to check and see where the first MOSFET as usual. And that would be the one hooked up to the positive side of the power jack. And here it is. Okay, so this would be the first MOSFET. And it's, this is probably the one next to it is the second, as you can see. And then from the second, going to a fuse. And here's a short. Okay, so as you can see before the second MOSFET, uh, let's see it closer here. So this is the first MOSFET. As you can see, there's no short. Goes to the second. OK, so as you can see here, uh, the short is right after the second MOSFET, which is on this fuse here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject a uh, small voltage here. Maybe start with one volt and see how it goes. From this side, I can only see the NVIDIA, the GPU, just uh, overheating. But nothing else. Hmm. Okay, so as we can see here, we do have a short. Uh, by the GPU area, it seems like the uh, the main line, the main power line, uh, is shorted with the GPU line, uh, GPU V core line. Uh, as you can see, if we test the GPU V core here. Okay, it's got very, very low resistance. So as you can see, very low voltage drop to ground. This seems to be the GPU V core. This is the NVIDIA GPU. That's the one that was uh, overheating when we injected the voltage in the main power line. So that's we know this is the problem. This is how we know. Now it could be a shorter GPU. It could be a couple of things. It could be a shorter GPU internally, or it could be a shorter MOSFET that's shorting that uh, in most cases is, is the shorted MOSFET transistor which is probably one of these uh, and the way to, to test it is we could check the gates 
Uh, as you can see, this one has a 0 0.24 voltage drop to ground, where this one has a 472, which makes better sense. So it seems that this is our problem here. It's going to be this MOSFET. This also has a gate uh, voltage drop of 568. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be our problem. So let's take that out and see what we get. So I'm going to be removing this MOSFET right here. We're healing a little bit the area and then um, going right at that MOSFET. Let's just hope this is our only problem and uh, we should be able to just replace it. Okay, so the mask has removed. Now we can check and see if the short is gone. And as you can see, this the upper side voltage drop to ground. Let me show you. We got 519, which makes way better sense than what it was before. Bottom side gate and let's check the 19 volt power line MOSFETs which was shorted to ground and see and the short is gone as you can see um, voltage drop to ground for this line No more short. Let's just make sure we're grounded here. Okay, now we're grounded. Okay, so voltage drop is 387. No more short to ground. So this was our problem. We could go ahead and replace that MOSFET and check and see if the uh, computer power is on. Okay, so uh, I did have a MOSFET in store here, in stock, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So let's go ahead, turn the pads.
let's keep on cleaning Now we can go ahead and tend the pads. Get it ready for the new MOSFET. goes okay so this is the old MOSFET and there is a new MOSFET so let's get one of these So, As you can see, MOSFET is installed. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and do a quick test. See if that's going to work. just doing a quick test so no need to put everything together we're just gonna put in the LVDS and I'm just gonna set the heat sink up here so it, it dissipates at least some of the heat So we could at least see a screen booting up. And let's see what, we, and as you can see, we get a light and we get a screen.
So that's, uh, this should be a done repair, as you can see. So we had a shorted MOSFET from the GPU line. It was shorting it to the, we got to the BIOS screen, as you can see. So that was shorting it. This is a very common problem. I was shorting it to the uh, 19 volt main rail. And once we replace that MOSFET, the short is gone and the computer is coming on. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will uh, see you in more videos.